Hello, my name is Rebecca Fisher. I work with Ms. Folger at the Mid-Peninsula Community Media Center as the Youth Services Coordinator. In my position, I have the opportunity to facilitate our Youth Advisory Council. The most profound connection I have to this debate about media ownership is my interaction with these youth and being able to see the discussion through their eyes. In, discussion about media, in discussions about media ownership, it's very difficult for them to see some of the issues that arise through the increased concentration of media ownership. The two reasons for this are that one, they haven't known anything different, and two, their technology savvy generation confuses the fact that they have a large quantity of media sources available with the idea that they have access to a diverse array of media. As Mayor Burt stated, we are in close proximity to many of the new media sources, which distracts us from the actual debate here. The inordinate amount of media sources out there creates an illusion of access and diversity while content is becoming more narrow and regulated. As the number of channels and media options have grown over the past 20 years, the number of media owners has inversely dropped. 1,000 channels owned by five corporations is not an achievement in variety. At this rate, the next generation's youth will have one source of news that will have its agenda dictated by the highest bidder. Advertising and corporate influence are increasingly pervading every type of media we consume, mainstream network channels to radio, and now to YouTube and even independent blogs and journals. Places that used to be a refuge are now inundating us with marketing messages, and the most vulnerable, but vulnerable demographic is youth. PEG TV is now literally the only source of media that is completely commercial free, where children can watch a 30 minute program without being manipulated into thinking they need to buy violent toys or unhealthy food. With the consolidation of media ownership and cross ownership between media sources and profit making corporations, we can't even say there's a, diverse, a diversity in these harmful messages. As a representative of PEG TV and a strong supporter of having access to free media, meaning access without being sold a product or sold a political agenda, I urge you to protect public access and allow us to continue to provide this refuge for our viewers. Thank you very much.